Hi everyone, this is Mo Volans for Tuts Plus with a quick tip on OSX aggregate and multi-output audio device setup. Now if you don't know what these things are, or if you don't know what either of them are, I'll just give you a quick, ex quick explanation. Aggregate outputs or aggregate devices, sorry, are multiple devices uh, being represented in your system as one device. So let's say you've got an audio interface um, like I've got an Apogee Quartet here. Let's say you've got that and you've got a and you want to expand its capabilities with more inputs from another device. So let's say you've got um, an Apogee um, Duet and you want to use the inputs from that as well as your Quartet. So you've got six inputs. Um, you could bring both of those together in an aggregate device and use all six inputs in your DAW like Logic or Cubase. So how do we do that? So let's say you wanted to use your line input with the quartet. At the minute the quartet's being used for everything, uh, we've essentially got four inputs. Um, I mean it's showing as many more here, but you've got four physical inputs. Um, if you wanted to bring both of these together, you would press plus and you go create aggregate device and you just start to choose uh, which devices you want to include. So we want to include the quartet. It's saying in 12, okay, but that's because we've got an ADAT input as well, which is essentially eight. Um, but Let's say we want to use the built-in line input as well, so that's two. Uh, and then you can use the optical in as well, the digital input as well if you wanted to. Um, and you can really include anything that's in your list. So let's say you've got you know, another quartet, you could double it up. Once you've done that, you can uh, then open up the aggregate device. And you can scroll down here. And you can see which is your sort of master clock. So I tend to go with you know the main device in my system, use this as the master clock, and this will distribute digital clock to the rest of the devices. Um, you can then set your sample inputs, and you can set any um, outputs of analog devices at least, uh, or input levels of analog devices. And then when you go to Logic, or when you go to Cubase or Reason, this will be available as a device to pick, and you can name it as well. So you could call it uh, Duet and uh, OSX ins or something like that uh, because that it's important you do that because it's that's what's going to show up in your DAW when you're in your software um, and that's pretty useful for expanding ins and outs and uh, you know with multiple devices I found it works pretty well if they're you know uh, quite fast and uh, decent quality interfaces especially well with FireWire devices and stuff like this um, you may get a little bit of latency, extra latency, and if you get cracks and pops, you may have to up your buffers a little bit, but generally it works pretty well. Um, obviously not as well as a, an interface with 10 ins or whatever, but it, it's good if you're in a situation where you quickly need to expand your capabilities. Now, the other thing you can do is multiple output devices, and this is something I used recently, and it's quite different to an aggregate, and it's a bit newer, I think it came out in Lion maybe. Somebody's probably going to correct me in the comments. Um, but it's just below aggregate devices. And you'll see that the, uh, the icon's a little different. And it's, it really is the same thing in that you can collect um, interfaces. You can see here, you can, it's pretty much the same as that you can choose uh, which output you use. Um, but you know, you've know you not got any choice of inputs here. So it's really not the sort of thing you're going to use in your DAW. It's a system-wide thing that you're going to use for outputting audio. So we've picked the quartet and we'll pick the built-in output. And this is something I did on another computer, a smaller computer, uh, where I uh, was on a Mac mini and I wanted to use the analog out at the same time as a FireWire device, as I wanted to feed two different systems, an analog uh, speaker system uh, and some active speakers as well. Uh, so, so sorry, some passive speakers and some active speakers. And this was really useful for doing this. Uh, because once you've picked those two outputs there, you can actually output from both of them. So you can mix the output level um, between the two. And basically it'll go to both sets of speakers at the same time. And really it uses no more processing power, i found, than just driving one set. And you can have as many uh, systems in there as you want. And then you'll just go ahead and pick this for the sound output. And it's that simple. And you can then pick another one for your sound input. So you could have your inputs going into the aggregate and your outputs going to the multi-output device. But it's really great for driving multiple systems and the aggregate's great for 
amalgamating different um, interfaces to expand your inputs and outputs. So hopefully that's been useful if you use this sort of thing, if you use several different interfaces and sev several different output devices. Um, it's a really straightforward um, technique and uh, you should be up and running in no time.